Hi, I'm Tom Handel with another CTN member highlight. This time we're covering Pride Portland, and I'm here with my two guests, Mark Chadbourne and Michelle Patrick, the co-chairs of this year's Pride Portland. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having yeah, us. You're Before we get into the specifics of Pride Portland and all the things that are going to be leading up to it, do you want to give people a little background on what, how Pride came about and what it's, what it's all about? Mm. Would you prefer I do that? Go ahead. <laughs> so I think a lot of people don't understand that these pride celebrations that look like big joyous parades in the street were really born of the civil rights movement way back in the 60s. And celebrations have been happening for over 40 years now internationally and generally happen every June. And it's kind of a way to commemorate um, where we've come from and how much further we have to go in terms of our civil rights, the LGBT QIA civil rights movement. Well, that's great. And, yeah. and the organization here in Portland, Pride Portland, is mm -hmm. just brand new, three years old. Do you want to talk a little bit about that organization? Mm. Yeah. Sure. Uh, three years ago, um, the organization that had held it prior um, decided they weren't going to hold it. So uh, Chris O'Connor and uh, Jill uh, Barkley. Barkley <laughs> you know, rallied the troops, so to speak, and, you know, uh, managed to put a parade on, and a very successful parade and uh, uh, events day down at Deering Oaks. And uh, so since then, uh, we're a brand new nonprofit uh, organization, and um, we've been building on uh, the, the Pride events every year. Mm -hmm. I think we're getting better and better, and we try to provide a ten, the 10 days of pride is meant to uh, provide different events that uh, will hopefully uh, uh, resonate with, you know, a large part of the community. And when is it this year? It's uh, June 10th yeah. through the 18th, 18th? 19th. Uh, 19th. We have one final party on the 19th. Oh, that's right. So <laughs> the eight, 18th is the, big, is the big parade day, you know, the party at Deering Oaks. Uh, but uh, like I said, it starts the 10th, and there'll be a number of events. Um, that, like I said, we hope will appeal to um, you know a large, uh, large uh, segment of the population in and around Portland, and and actually we have people that come from all over the country. But, yeah, we uh, do. And this isn't something that happens that makes money or anything. You actually need to yeah. raise money for this sort of thing and keep the organization going. We, we are a nonprofit. We are mm -hmm. a registered nonprofit. And we're actually able to operate as a 501c3 through the help of our fiscal sponsor, Equality Maine. It's, it's really how we were able to start um, three years ago. They, they and a lot of the other organizations have really supported us, and we support them. It's really a, a whole community effort. And you have fundraisers that, that support as well? Yes, we have. It's funny, a lot of people focus on just what happens in June, but really we, not only do we have fundraisers throughout the year, and we have some coming up that people can, can check out on our Facebook page, um, but um, we're doing more events, community building events throughout the year too, and not just in June. So it is part of our mission to bring community together. And so we're, we're able to do more and more of that. Now, you're going to have a launch party to kind of just tell everyone what exactly is going to happen at Pride. When is that, yeah. when is that happening? Where is it happening? That's, that's the big reveal, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> right. um, and that's Friday, May 13th. It's mm -hmm. going to be at Port City Music Hall. Um, it starts at 8 o'clock, and it's one of our 18-plus events. Oh, yeah. great. Great. And um, what kinds of things can people expect to see at Pride Portland that are going to be revealed at the Pride the launch? Mm. Do you want me to I'll let you. It? Yeah, I'll, because I'll probably say too so, much. So well, yeah, I know you <laughs> might you might reveal too much. That's right. So yeah, aside from um, like who the marshals will be, uh, it'll be what events will happen during the week, and it, some of them will include some big names or historic names, and and I'm afraid I might reveal it too if I keep talking. But we will have um, try we try to have something for everyone. So like family friendly events, outdoor events. Um, lots of cultural events. Our, our history night is is a mainstay. I can I can definitely say there will be a history night again. It's very popular um, in collaboration with the library. Um, so we do try to provide a wide spectrum of events, and and we always encourage people to sort of um, get involved if they don't see something that's representative of their part of the community or they feel is missing. We're always welcoming not only feedback but involvement 
to help make it happen because we, we can't cover all the bases. Right, and, and the launch party is, is what, what's that like and where is it? What, 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 what's, um... That's gonna be held at Port City Music Hall. Yeah. Uh, doors open at seven. The um, festivities will start at eight o'clock. Uh, it's open to the public, uh, 18 and over. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but it's open to the public. We want everyone to come. Yeah. Um, and like I said, there'll be a lot of celebration um, and uh, about the upcoming events. And like I said, it's a big reveal and everyone will, will get to see exactly what we have planned and buy t-shirts and baseball caps if they want them this our, year. Our fundraising, part of our fundraising well, will yeah. raffle baskets too. And we'll have entertainment? Lots of entertainment. Yes, there will be entertainment, yes. There'll be, there'll yes. be live yeah. entertainment, um, yeah. variety. Um, mm -hmm. it, always a little something different every year, but a, a broad spectrum of entertainment. Um, including dance and also some dancing as well, D live DJ. Actually, I think we might be having two different DJs this year. Um, yeah, to kind of mix it up a little bit. So just to wrap up and, and, and uh, you know, uh, let people mm -hmm. know how they can get more information mm -hmm. and uh, if you need anything or need volunteers or money or whatever, what people can do. Can I just say something about volunteers real quick? We need lots of them all throughout the year and especially on Parade and Festival Day. We Over 300 people we need that day. Oh, wow. Yeah, and just carrying the flag, which is, I want to, is it 900 feet long? I'm not sure. It's, but it's, it's a river of pride. It's this flag that goes on blocks and blocks and it t that alone takes 300 people to carry so what we have is a core group of people who start out with it and as it unfurls we ask people from the sides of the street to jump in and help carry this thing yeah. and uh, and it's the last thing that goes down so it's like everybody's kind of going that way anyway just grab hold to keep it up yeah, it's and people love that. Kids right. love running underneath it and that sort of thing. So, what can they go for more information, or to, you know, say they want to volunteer right. or whatever? Right, lots and find out what more. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, prideportland.org. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a Facebook page. Um, you can find us again by just you know uh, searching Pride Portland, and then uh, portmepride at gmail.com is our email. Mm -hmm. um, so that you can find all that information, uh, find out about all the events. You can buy tickets to the launch party, and um, and most of your questions will be answered there. Or you can email us and ask us questions if you have particular questions. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot, and look forward to seeing this year's Pride Portland. Thanks a thank lot, you. Tom. Thanks for having us again.